Hey everyone, I want to go over my meal planning guide with you today to help you understand my process of how I plan for a week, what I do in order to stay smooth and get it all done with confidence. The guide that I shared recently, and I'm gonna look at it a couple times, so sorry that I keep looking away. Um, basically I've laid it out into five easy steps. So this is what I do every week whenever I'm meal planning. Step one, I lay out what I think the week is gonna look like. So I literally write down on a piece of paper, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I start to really think about what's happening that week. So sometimes I have lunch meetings, sometimes I have to commute to nearby cities and stuff, and if I don't plan and pack food, I kind of freak out and let <laughs> let the cravings and the hangriness get the best of me, even though I know I'm gonna be okay. Um, committing to something so restrictive and that has a lot of elimination around it can can cause some stress where you feel like there's nothing you can eat or you just feel really trapped so <laughs> planning equals success in my book in step one I lay out the week and I write down okay Monday I have a meeting Tuesday I'm totally open um, stuff like that and then I, I lay it all out and decide okay what days do I need what meals and what days am I going to probably feel like cooking and what are the other days that I probably won't feel like cooking so then you can start to pick recipes that you can crock pot or make really quickly um, maybe some nights you want to spend an hour in the kitchen and that's cool I love doing that so um, yeah you start to plan out what your days are gonna look like and how drained are you gonna feel when you're done doing whatever you're doing and then step two you start to lay out so depending on how frequently you like to eat and kind of breakfast lunch and dinner framework I don't necessarily eat breakfast ever I intermittent fast um, every day so don't eat until about oh, there's a crazy bug <laughs> eat until about um, noon or one every day but anyway um, that's a preference so no you don't need to eat breakfast to survive and two you can if you like breakfast so whatever you want. This is not a plan that says you have to eat a meal at a certain time or eat a certain amount of meals a day. It's all up to you and listening to your body. And that's why I love it so much. So lay out what that looks like for you per day. Do you eat breakfast, a snack, lunch, a snack, dinner, a snack, whatever that is, like you decide. You start to lay that out every day and look at your recipes that you're choosing and understand that their serving sizes might carry over for the next few days. So if you make like a casserole, that could be like four or eight servings, depending on what you're making. Um, yeah, you can, you can make a lot of food for the whole week if you want. So that's pretty cool. So the next, in step three, I start to look at all of the recipes that I've picked. So I really like, I write them all down on like a piece of paper. So I'll write down all of the recipes I'm looking at. I'll have all of my cookbooks or whatever pulled up and I'll list them all out. Then I'm like, okay, which ones do I not need to cook? It just sounded good as I was planning. So I'll list out like the, the core recipes and I'll start to look at their ingredients and then I'll start to make my grocery list. So from here, and I think, yeah, so a grocery list could look like this. It can look like whatever you want, but I like to keep mine categorized by um, sections of the grocery store of which I'm gonna like come up upon so that I don't get sidetracked and that I don't start grabbing stuff that I don't really need because that's when we can start to spend a lot of money and then feel very confused as to why we bought something. So step three, you start to list out everything you need. And I honestly look at one recipe, I list out like, onions, garlic, meat, whatever, whatever. And then the next recipe, if that also needs garlic or onion, I just start doing tally marks next to them so that you don't have to like write down garlic 10 times or think, oh God, how much garlic did I need? So if you keep like a tally of what you need or how many pounds or quantity next to the thing, then I know this seems like common sense, but um, I've gone to the store before and I'm like, why did I write down this thing and I feel like crazy then I'm like do I need it and then I don't buy it and then I get home and I needed it so anyway um, doing that by section or like category in the grocery store is really helpful and then I also write down what recipes and meals I'm making on my grocery sheet so as I'm looking through and I'm like 
wait, why am I buying ground beef? Which that's a silly question anyway, but <laughs> why am I buying this? Oh yeah, it goes in this dish. So it kind of helps you reference back and forth why you're buying something. So I like doing that. You don't have to, it just keeps me on track. And then after I make my entire grocery list, even if I know I have something, I take my grocery list into my kitchen and I start to take inventory. So if I already have two onions, I'll mark off two onions. If I already have a ton of garlic, I'll just scribble off garlic. And that way you're already halfway done with your grocery shopping. And then you know when you get to the store, you're like it's fresh in your mind that you do have something. So you're not sitting there thinking, do I have onions? Maybe I don't need this many. And you start to kind of doubt that process of why you did all of this in the first place. And all of this should not take long. This should take you like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Like don't overthink it, don't stress about it. Um, just lay it all out and know that it might change, but it's good to have a plan and know why you're doing stuff. Step five, of course, go to the grocery. Um, and in my next video that I'll post, I'll go through kind of grocery trip tricks, grocery tricks and hacks and little things that I've learned over time to make the process really smooth. So check out that video and I will talk to y'all soon.